Arjun Alba. Who has death, both in children and adults. Uh, as the heart failure progresses, one of the key treatments for end-stage heart failure is heart transplant, which can be life-saving. Generally, once we reach the stage of advanced or end-stage heart failure, the chances of death within six months is almost 50%. So generally, if you follow a set of patients over one to one and a half years, most of them would have been died. Problem with the heart muscle, what we call as cardiomyopathy. The other uh, cause is congenital heart disease, where most of the treatments can be successful with repair of the you know, congenital heart disease. Uh, over the last 20 to 30 years in India, you know, there have been hundreds of thousands of cardiac surgeries are done in children to repair all the defects. And again, donor availability. Uh, you know, because of, you know, but as the whole system, medical system and the organization gets more mature with organ donation, transport and other things, uh, there will be more, you know, organ donors. But still, having a child donor is much more challenging because there are not enough, not that you know, the features of what we call end-stage heart failure, where the heart muscle was not working, the baby had you know, flow in everywhere. And there are no medicines to treat this. And this is what we have to, we are unable to treat this disease unless we do a transplant. Uh, any disease where the first year, if you take good care of your health, generally, you can live long time. Treat the disease or the baby or the child transplant. So informed consent is 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 is. You didn't take your medicines. There is no point doing a transplant because without taking medicines for two days, the heart may stop. Statewide organization, uh, state organ and tissue transplant organization of Karnataka. Each state has their own what we call SOTO. Previously in Karnataka, we did and this. It, it takes you know lot of effort to do this success uh, uh, to do transplants in children. One are normal anatomy, normal structure uh, and muscle failure. They are the this is one of those where what you call as cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy is an equal opportunity disease. It affects all ages, all genders, um, all geographies, etc. So this baby had what is called cardiomyopathy, which affects the muscle of the heart but structurally in terms of connections those hearts are normal. Then you have the other type of disease where structurally the heart is abnormal because there is either a hole or they are reversed in connections and some of them get repaired but eventually the muscle starts failing or the, or the whole system starts uh, failing. And then you may have to do a transplant to correct the transplant. Now apart from being a, a milestone for all of us the important thing was that a heart transplant was made possible. This set the stage for all that has been achieved till now. Every organization that goes through the transplant process acknowledges that this was an event that benchmarked the beginning of the transplant heart transplant program. Of course, it was uh, done in the Roadshore Hospital, uh, Cape Town in South Africa, and uh, the recipient uh, lived for almost 18 days before uh, uh, he succumbed due to pneumonia. Uh, this is uh, a throwback on the pictures, Christian Bernard and then the donor as well as uh, the recipient. Uh, coming to uh, our own home here in, in India, first of all the uh, Transplantation of Human Organs Bill was approved by the President of India on the 7th of July 1994. So this is a landmark for all of us because this was the first time that an organ transplant was made possible by a legislation. After that, it was quickly followed up by uh, Professor Venu Gopal, who did the first transplant in India uh, on the 3rd of August 1994. So, this uh, again benchmarked that a transplant was possible in our country, in our own home. Devi. So, from the like, uh, this was started a uh, year back. So, there was a test uh, which was eco. So, basically, uh, we we went to uh, one of the diagnosis center where uh, like our child was having uh, coughing cough and all those things so because of that we we visited to that particular center so there, the doctor suggested that uh, there are chances that because of the heart he is having some other uh, kind of issues so he suggested us to have the eco test so after the eco was done 
from there we came to know that the child is having a serious issue and they told us that the child having had a rca restrictive cardiomyopathy and he suggested us to directly go to the narayana hospital and no other way because only the cure which is possible for the for such kind of issue is only be done in the narayana hospital so we came to the hospital we uh, talked to dr sasi raj sir and he told us all the possibilities like what can be done pre operation post operation all those things he informed us and he told us so like before the transplant it was very difficult and tough time i hope you also uh, feel the exactly. uh, the thing which i was going on so yeah it was very difficult and tough time for us so after the transplant was done so the nh person like the who are directly involved or indirectly involved they handle all those things very very easily and they are humble all the time whatever doubt we had after the transplant as well they told us like beat and everything very clearly and properly so after the trans like after the uh, one month or two months uh, when everything was uh, went well they told like uh, we asked them to please uh, uh, release us to go to home so that we can take care for the baby very well so after the discharge believe me like when we were in the hospital like we were not uh, uh, that much of uh, 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 in a uh, you can say uh, problem or all those things because we have all the doctors of thing over there but after the discharge it was very difficult for us like me and my wife only we were uh, are there for for baby to be taken care of so it was it is very difficult for us to uh, to to take care of the baby and all those things so as of now the baby is good everything is going well uh, he is good he is responsive as well so and, and extremely i am glad for the narayana hospital to for for having such good team uh, and because of that as i have mentioned that because of them only the child is with us thank you thank you for the family to really understand that this is the only option left for the child to convince the family to understand what is really happening it is very hard for a family to accept the fact that you are having end stage heart disease at that age generally you think of heart disease as an older person's problem and not as a baby's problem from that point onwards if you're looking at getting a heart for a baby which is quite difficult because you need to get a, a realistic size match you cannot put a heart that is much larger than the baby once the weight of the donor exceeds twice or two and a half times then the mortality following the procedure also goes up which makes availability uh, more of a problem the good thing about it is the uh, children's heart can withstand uh, cold ischemia that is the time which is taken for the heart to be taken from one place to another a little longer than adult hearts so we have a slightly larger geographical reach in order to bring a heart from another place to uh, our hospital in this particular case we had it uh, right uh, within the institution so the ischemic time was very little and it is always better to have shorter ischemic times for better preservation of the heart my name is dr yan shetty i uh, work in narana health in uh, hosur road um, i am the director for the pediatric intensive care uh, this uh, this uh, baby was admitted under us even before the transplant when uh, the baby was wait, waiting for a heart once we got the news uh, we got him ready and uh, after the operation generally after a heart transplant our role in intensive care is to make sure that the and then we treat the um, patient uh, we generally after a heart transplant uh, the heart goes uh, weak because uh, there is an ischemic time and uh, we during that time we support the heart we leave the baby in the ventilator and also after the heart transplant we will have to suppress the immune system by immunosuppressive drugs that makes them more um, uh, prone to infections so we have to take good care and once the heart gets uh, uh, 
gets back its function, we slowly have to take the baby out of the ventilator and take out the medications which are supporting the heart, slowly transit uh, the baby out of the ICU. These are very challenging even in, a, in an adult. So for us, it was a unique challenge. Uh, even though we look after the highest number of children after heart surgery, this is a little different after heart transplant. And uh, we knew the gravity of the situation because uh, this heart has been donated by another child. And uh, it is, for us, a heart is very precious. And it's not easy to get a heart and uh, transplant a heart on a one-year-old. So it was very challenging for the whole team. I would like to specially mention that this wouldn't have been possible without the nurses, the respect therapists, the physiotherapist, the dietitians, the pharmacist, uh, there, and there are many more other support staff which help us in getting this child through. It was challenging. It's not something that we don't do day to day, but it is a little unique. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.